Hey guys, it's Jdogter. This is a quick video on how to use the in-game commands that are part of the structure generator data pack. Um, this is um, just a couple extra commands for controlling how structures work. Um, it's helpful for protecting your builds and I just wanted to show you how they work really quick. So there's a link in the description to a video on how to uh, create a structure using the structure generator. Um, and if you installed it, you should be able to type slash function and then generator. And a lot of options will show up. And if you want to see all the commands that are included, you can type slash generator help. And this will list all the commands that are included in the data pack and it has a brief explanation on how they all work. Um, so the two that you're going to use the most is most likely uh, function generator settings. If you click the green, it will actually fill it in for you. So if you click that, it will pop up some more stuff in chat. This is the settings that are for the overall uh, spawning of the structures. So we have density. This is how often the structures generate. Uh, rare is probably um, as close to like regular Minecraft spawning where like you don't see them super often but you'll come across one every once in a while. Uh, common is uh, nice for like you just want it to show up a bit more like if you have a bunch of structures and like you want them to be pretty evenly um, distributed and easy to find. Common's a good one and then abundant is um, I use it a lot for testing for like just to make sure if my structures are actually showing up or if there's a bug. Abundant will like make them show up quite a bit. Um, probably a lot more than you want like during like an actual sur survival playthrough. Um, but they'll spawn a lot so that you know if they're actually showing up or not. So yeah, so rare, common, abundant. And then clock speed, this is good for performance. Um, let's say you're on a server with a lot of people and the server isn't being able to handle the data pack running super fast you can change it to slow or very slow or you can go super fast if you have a have a beast of a computer you could boost it up to fast and just i don't know it's nice but it really won't help anything it's uh normal by default but yeah those are your options so you could actually click these if you wanted to change it so you can set the density to rare so that's the settings. And then, of course, the next one is generator generate. That will actually start your structures generating. Um, you will actually have to type this in every dimension. So if you like go into the nether for the first time, you might want to type that. Or the end for the first time. You'll probably actually want this to be typed out in the end once you've reached the outer end islands. Because you probably don't want structures showing up on the main island. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably have some way of detecting when you do that in the future, but um, I haven't really been able to find a good way to detect uh, dimension changes. So that's those commands. You're going to use those the most. But the next cool ones we can do is we can do uh, generator status. All that's going to do is tell us what the settings are right now. Uh, dimensional generation currently set to auto. i got to remove that um, because that's not part of the data pack right now uh, but it'll tell us what the settings are actually set to uh, the next one is protect and unprotect so let's say you have um, like a lovely build or base or you're on a server uh, with a bunch of builds or whatever or like you just you're not starting a brand new world and you have stuff you want to not have structures spawn in what you can do is you can type function generator protect and what it will do is it sets a protection marker where we were standing and where that marker is I'll show you what it where it is in a minute it will not let structures spawn oh there's a balloon over there it will not let structures spawn within a uh, 2000 uh, 200 blocks uh, radius of the area so if we actually type slash function highlight, you can see here is the marker that it placed. It is an armor stand here that is invisible, and it will not let the system spawn structures nearby. So you could place one like here. We could place one right here. Like, 
place just a couple around like areas you want to protect before you actually type slash generate and it will just protect your area and not let structures spawn near it. And then if you wanted to uh, make the armor stands disappear, you could type slash function highlight again and they'll disappear. I want them to show up to show you the rest of the commands though. So the next one is function generator unprotect. Now if we just did unprotect, it will make the nearest one we were standing by glow red and it will ask us if we want to remove this. We could click no and it'll just reset and not do anything. Um, but it will highlight the nearest one. So this one's red. If we, that's not the one we meant, then we can actually come to this one, type it again. Like, oh, is this the one you want to remove? And then you can click yes. And you can see it has now gotten rid of the armor stand and it is gone. And then we can also type unprotect all. And it will select all the protection markers and you can click yes, and now they are all gone. So that's really useful if you wanted to protect an area or you misplaced one or whatever. And then of course there's generator help, which will actually show you the generator stuff. And then the last one is generator uninstall. And if you click that, it will get rid of all the scoreboards and all the stuff in the system. It will kill all the extra armor stands it will just it will just reset it as if you never downloaded the world but if you wanted to reinstall you could just type slash reload and it will just work again you can see when the reload message pops up you can also just click help and it'll also bring up the menu so that's all there is to the in-game commands for the uh, structure generator uh, if you have any other questions um, ask them in the comments I'll try to answer them um, if you want to see how the uh, structure generator actually works, check out the video that was uh, released before this one. Um, the link will also be in the description. And if you want to actually know how to use structure blocks, there's also a link to that too. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!